Imagine a world where Earth's thermostat fails. Glaciers grind across the equator, oceans lie sealed beneath kilometers of ice, and continents disappear for millions of years. These global freezes have happened before. The Huronian more than 2 billion years ago, the Sturtian about 717 million years ago, and the Marinoan beginning roughly 650 million years ago. Each turned the planet into a snowball world. A new study shows how these catastrophes begin and why they can happen again. In computer simulations, a pulse of 10,000 petagrams of carbon released over 10,000 years set off a runaway chain reaction. Warmer oceans produced vast plankton blooms. As the blooms died, oxygen in the water collapsed. Phosphorus cycled back into the ocean instead of being buried, feeding still more blooms, driving more carbon burial, and accelerating the cooling. Instead of stabilizing, Earth's climate regulator failed. Global temperatures plunged more than six degrees Celsius below the starting point a fall greater than the shift between today's climate and the last ice age. The descent took less than a few hundred thousand years, a blink in geological terms, and recovery stretched far longer. Geological records align with these results. The timing of feedbacks in the model corresponds with the great ice ages that locked Earth into global glaciation. The regulator of climate is not stable, it can flip, and when it does, the planet locks into ice.